All eyes are on UF's future recruits this offseason as the Gators could use some much needed help in a big way going forward. The Gators have three members of their 2024 signing class that received high honors this week. Five-star quarterback DJ Lagway was named the Gatorade Player of the Year for Texas. Linebacker Aaron Childs was named the Gatorade Player of the Year for Maryland. And running back Kanan Daniels was named the Gatorade Player of the Year for Mississippi. All three of these guys had incredibly impressive senior seasons. Let's talk about it for just a second. DJ Lagway, of course, the prized recruit in this 2024 signing class. He is 6'2 and a half, 230 pounds. He attends Willis High School in Texas. That is until next week when he enrolls at UF. He is the 10th ranked player overall in the country by On3 Industry Rankings, the number two quarterback in this 2024 class. He committed to the Gators last December, so December of 2022. And guys, he never wavered. His high school season, his senior season, off the charts. And uh, before I get into his stats, I do want to point out, I sometimes see on social media people saying things like he doesn't play any competition. Guys, he plays in one of the largest classifications in Texas. If you know anything about high school football, you know that the larger classifications in Texas, there is some serious competition. He also plays for a program that until he became the quarterback, only won a couple of games a season. So he definitely helped turn that around. This season though, off the charts, 4,631 yards that he threw for, 58 touchdowns, six interceptions. He completed over 72% of his passes. He added 975 rushing yards and 16 rushing touchdowns. All right, so for those of you doing quick math over there, that is 75 touchdowns that he is responsible for in his senior campaign. That is in insane. Those numbers, and then he's got the All-American game that he's playing in, those are going to help him make a push to be the top quarterback in this class and maybe even the top player in the 2024 signing class. This was a huge pickup. He had a crazy season. Let's talk about Aaron Childs, who also received that Gatorade Award for the state of Maryland. Six foot three, 225 pounds out of Good Counsel High School. He is the 122nd best player in the country and the ninth best linebacker, according to On3 Industry Ratings. He is the number one player in the state of Maryland. This season, 76 tackles, seven sacks, and 12 tackles for a loss. That is a pretty darn productive senior season. And aside from winning the prestigious Gatorade Player of the Year for his home state, he was also named the Max Preps Maryland High School Football Player of the Year, also another really hard to get prestigious award. Our third uh, recruit that we want to talk about is running back Kanan Daniels, five foot 11 inches, 190 pounds out of West Point, Mississippi. He is the 228th best player in the 2024 class and the 17th best running back, according to On3. This season, he rushed for 2,730 yards and 30 touchdowns. His team also won a state title. In that state title game, guys, he ran for 253 yards and three touchdowns. He was the MVP of the game. And aside from being the Gatorade Player of the Year for the state of Mississippi, he was also Mississippi's Class 5A Mr. Football. Florida is getting some massive talent coming in in this class. And it uh, it couldn't come at a better time, obviously. Florida has got to win in 2024. These are three pieces of the puzzle that could contribute immediately. So DJ Lagway wins this award for the state of Texas, right? But it's not over there. He is also a finalist for the Gatorade National Football Player of the Year Award. This is probably the most prestigious award that is given out to high school football players. Previous winners include Emmett Smith and Peyton Manning. The other two finalists are Alabama commit Julian Sayan and USC commit Julian Lewis. This is obviously an incredibly talented company, but... DJ Lagway has a really great shot at this award. Like I said, it's the most prestigious award you can win in high school football. Gator fans should be so 
excited about what they are getting in DJ Lagway, not only on the field, but off the field as well. Lagway reports to Gainesville next week as soon as that All-American game is over, and he is going to begin his journey of working towards being Florida's starter. He has made no qualms about wanting to win the job, but he's also made it really clear that he highly respects Graham Mertz, and he knows that Graham Mertz can teach him a lot about the game. This is a potentially really great situation for the Gators. You guys know the kind of personality that Graham Mertz has. He is cool, calm, collected. He is a great leader. We saw that on the field many times last season. This is everything you want in a mentor for a player like DJ Lagway. He has all the skills. We've seen it in high school. It's going to translate to college. He's got an incredible arm. He is mobile with his feet. He's got a very high football IQ. His high school team and coaches report that he is a great locker room leader, but obviously the transition from high school to college is a big one, particularly in the SEC, particularly in 2024 when Florida is going to play the toughest schedule in the country. There is not a better situation for him to be walking into to sit behind and learn from Graham Mertz. Now, listen, he wants to play as quickly as possible, right? DJ Lagway didn't come to Florida to sit on the bench. I think there's a great chance that we see packages that Napier creates for him so that we can utilize uh, and his skill set and let him see the field early, maybe not often, but early and kind of bring him along a little bit. I think that's going to be Napier's plan. I think DJ Lagway is all on board for that. I think Graham Mertz is one of the perfect people to mentor him. Mertz being able to mentor DJ Lagway so that he grows into the same type of leader that Graham Mertz currently is, coupled with Lagway's generational skill set, could spell success for Coach Napier and the Florida Gators. If this is developed correctly, it could be really, really big for Florida. We all know how important these kids are going to be for Napier. Lagway especially, right? This is, a lot of people have talked about, this is going to be make or break for Billy Napier. This is his quarterback. This is the guy that he wanted. This is the guy he said he needed to run his his offense successfully, that he could build a team around. So now he's going to have that opportunity. Lagway already acted as the glue of this class. And, you know, once Mertz time's up, he is going to be what makes or breaks the Napier tenure at UF. We're going to be featuring more of UF signees in the near future. So make sure that you are locked in. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you're not, hit it right now. We are almost to 10,000 subscribers. You can help us get there. Hit that subscribe button right this second. Make sure you're locked in. You do not want to miss any of the content we have coming. It's been a super busy time with the holiday. My kids are all out of school and just lots of craziness going on, but I'm back and I'm excited to continue to do more videos more regularly. So stay tuned and I will talk to you soon. Go Gators.